Hi, thank you for logging on to tutorialspoint.com. Today we're going to learn about social learning. So let's understand what social learning is all about. The word social means formal, friendly and a group and also it means community by the way. Learning is nothing but your teaching or you know getting to know more about a certain subject or getting knowledge about something. So social learning when put together is a cognitive process which says that you know a human being learns in social setting. So moving on uh, getting introduced to the topic about social learning it actually talks about you know the behaviorist approach towards learning that is uh, we all learn through rewards and reinforcement so behavioral learning pattern talks about uh, you know a human being can learn watching the uh, you know actions or the behaviors of the other people that is through observation and then through retention so this video is uh, certainly going to talk on these topics which is uh, getting introduced to the topic we just happened to learn about it social learning a bobo doll experiment well this is one of my favorite topic to talk on and I'll, I'll certainly discuss more about what it has in store for us social learning definition that is we'll have a standard and a working definition to understand what social learning is all about so moving on social learning versus social networking so social networking again uh, the Facebook uh, you know comes to our mind so it has nothing to do with Facebook uh, we will you know uh, in short talk about it what industry says so let's understand the vision of social learning and what it holds for the future moving further social learning strategies that is what strategy what application it has for all of us and why it is important that you know we all move towards social learning social learning at workplace because uh, it's imperative that as an employee as an employer we all expect learning from each other that is employers growing an employee taking up the learning process in a manner where you know the employee is suitable for the employer's you know uh, requirement moving on social learning effective principles there are certain effective principles to talk about to discuss and explore about it social learning software now this is where a typical view of you know how we are heading towards the new norm which is social learning social learning conclusion we're going to talk about you know not just the all these uh, topics that we have discussed on uh, we're going to also conclude as to why it is important and how do we take it further moving on uh, social learning bobo doll experiment well this is one of the you know epic moment in the history of child psychology and uh, you know social psychology as well so the, he is uh, a psychologist albert bandura who's an american psychologist professor author who has extensively contributed you know to the field of child psychology and relatively to uh, the field of uh, social psychology as well so this experiment basically talks about reinforcement of certain behavior through reward punishment and uh, you know getting to know more on the behavioral side of a child as well so basically this ex experiment was conducted in the year 1960 uh, with you know a certain uh, number of people with certain behavior change that is uh, we have identified people with you know uh, aggressiveness we identified few children with non aggressive as a behavior so the outcome of this experiment was simple that you know people learn that is human being and as well as child learn through modeling well modeling is a term used extensively in psychology so this term basically talks about that you know a human being which sets us apart from an animal or a other living being is uh, you know through the learning process that is we learn through observation and we model certain observation for example the end result of this particular experiment was if a, a father you know, you know at home if a father reprimands uh, a mother that is his wife and uh, maybe hits for a reason that you know she should not give a back answer and she should not come back strongly to the person so child models the same behavior when mother you know gives on certain explanation certain uh, behavior to a child the child models the behavior of a father and exhibits the same trait of hitting mother in order to you know uh, just stop or probably have that you know whatever experience to hold down at it so uh, uh, we recommend you to go back and read on our uh, tutorial that is on our website which is available on text and uh, go ahead and reflect because we all have been in the similar process where we have modeled certain behaviors we have not identified it but we have modeled it either through extraneous factors that is through surroundings or through somebody whom you uh, you know live with or whom you admire as well moving on the next slide social learning definition let's have a working definition to understand this better chimpanzees uh, you know are supposedly the smartest animals in the species 
again what sets them apart or what sets human being apart is the process of social learning so social learning as a process has not just been introduced right now it's been there since ages so it is the inherent quality or innate ability to learn through surrounding through observation or through you know holding on to you know certain behaviors why do people behave the way he or she behaves so we try and draw that information and we take it and on a subconscious level that goes to a, a pattern where we all have habit of exhibiting certain behaviors just naturally so for example nail biting nail biting not necessarily uh, as a human being that we get introduced to this habit but i pick up only through surroundings again Next slide, uh, social learning versus social networking. Now, this is one of the most debatable topic to talk on. Well, social networking can certainly help me to be more vocal, can certainly help me to build on to my interpersonal skills. As inherently shy person I am, maybe I'd like to verbalize my thoughts on a platform like Facebook for that matter, or maybe Twitter or blogs, uh, you know, where I can certainly exhibit my thoughts, my conveying of information where I am not comfortable to share in a group of uh, people or maybe with set of you know certain friends of mine. So basically social networking has a random set of information and it doesn't have a specific course or specific uh, skill to help me master it. Uh, in comparison to social learning, well social learning what I do is you know if I would like to uh, get uh, you know probably uh, be like my mother. So I start inheriting those qualities by often being in the group. So to talk about social learning in general at workplace, uh, we are going to explore more about you know why uh, it has got its importance and uh, see at an organization level every employer wants employee to be upgraded and have that set of you know specific required skills so social learning can not only help me achieve those specific skill set it also helps me to be well adapted to the learning process which is the future again and as well as to get the uh, actual skill sets what the organization is looking for and as well as you know as an employee as a self learning uh, you know tool that can not just explore my self skill development it also certainly help me uh, you know get adapted to it moving on uh, social learning strategy strategies well there are certain strategies that we are supposed to follow and these strategies are not just restricted to the learning process but it is specifically designed and worked for social learning platform so we would recommend you to log on to our website and just go through our text tutorial uh, to explore the topic more and get the information on next slide uh, social learning at workplace so it is uh, always said that you no know, social learning is not just handy it can also help me uh, to be there at whatever position or uh, you know uh, job location that i desire at so deloitte is an organization so that in usa deloitte has conducted a survey uh, and they came up with a you know a number that uh, organization at least in the united states of america they are spending x amount of money that is actually a bomb number uh, to go by and uh, they are doing a lot of research to understand that you know organizations are investing in social learning and uh, they see that as the future of the learning moving on uh, the effective principles well there are certain effective principles to go by we recommend you to follow our text video and explore more on this uh, principles are just not the rules for entire learning process again they are collaborated well researched well designed for this platform of social learning next a uh, slide effect of eq on listeners which is your emotional quotient emotional quotient not just help me to identify my emotions at what emotions that i stand but will certainly help me to you know analyze the fact each time i talk to somebody each time i am a speaker and others is a listener i make sure that you know i follow certain uh, emotional quotient uh, level to it moving on uh, a software so one of the bodies that have designed designed the software specifically to understand the process so basically it is just uh, you know adherence to follow the learning process and uh, to go about it so next slide uh, conclusion well this topic not just helped us to you know understand the word social learning its importance the future what industry says we would recommend you to go back read the text and start moving towards the direction of social learning because this is the future thank you for watching